Good morning, student. Welcome to the another section of multiplexing in computer network. On the previous class, we learn about what is multiplexing. What are the different type of multiplexers and deep multiplexers there? So, just quick recap of the previous section. First of all, what do you mean by multiplexing? Basically, it is a technique used to combine and as well as send the multiple data streams over a single medium. So, this te technique is normally widely implemented for low speed signals converting into high signals and it must allow the simultaneous transmission of multiple signals across the single data link and so and so. So the process basically used in multiplexing that is basically called a hardware called multiplexer and demultiplexer. So the multiplexer is a, is a hardware which actually converts the multiple signals into a single signal that is many to one conversion. Similarly, the multiplexer uh, like uh, widely implemented or it can communicate is possible over a particular A that is radio frequency like cable that is a physical media or light or light signal which is related with optical fiber. So it can achieve by using two subsequent things that is MUX and DEMUX that is MUX is called the MUX multiplexer, DEMUX is basically called the demultiplexer. So in the case of MUX, it normally follows the multiplexing techniques or rules one to many, sorry many to one that is n input, n input lines and one output line. On the other hand, the DMUX separate the signal into its component signal that is one input and an output. So basically DMUX follows the rules one to many approach. Then the next section, uh, the uh, basically what is what is or why multiplexing? So it is being widely implemented to send the signal from sender to receiver. The medium can only have one signal at a time. If possible, there are multiple signals to send a single medium, then the medium must be denied in a such a way that each signal is given some portion of the available bandwidth. So the medium which is widely implemented for this, it having the maximum bandwidth and the multiplexer normally uses that particularly bandwidth. Some example like 10 signals, uh, uh, if there are 10 signals and bandwidth of the medium is 100 units, bandwidth, the medium of the bandwidth is 100 units, if you have 10 signals, so it must be the 10 unit is shared by a each signal. So the next one is the basic diagram of the multiplexer or the concept of the multiplexer. So N input lines are normally related with MUX. That is multiplexer is somehow related with the like transmitter end. And after that, the medium which is connecting between MUX and as well as DMUX because DMUX is always available with the receiving end or the destination or the target end. So the particularly N input lines, that is, that is a group of particularly like uh, signals or lines that be converted by a single particularly like said line or said signal by the MUX. And after that, one link followed by kind channels can be traveled from, travel in the medium or it can transmit in the medium. And on the other hand, DMOX normally uh, collect all the subsequent particularly N channels in a single link. And after that, it can again convert it into the N output line. So maximum in this particular data, N output lines and N output lines, sorry, N input lines and N output lines in between the many to one and one to many conversion should be there in the case of MOX and as well as DMOX. So this is the basic diagram of 
non uh, row multiplexing and with multiplexing and some of the advantages and disadvantages of the multiplexing as i said earlier so the current section is all about the types of multiplexers so there are main, uh, mainly two types of multiplexers namely analog and as well as digital so one particularly uh, like multiplexer is related with analog another is related with uh, digital that further divided into fdm that is frequency division multiplexing the uh, wdm and followed by tdm so basically this is the simple diagram simple diagram of multiplexer the multiplexer is divided into two sub sequence particularly uh, like uh, two types that is analog and digital analog further sub divided into two types that is frequency division multiplexing and next one is called the wavelength division multiplexing and on the other side digital particularly like multiplexer divided into single part that is called tdm that is time division multiplexing again tdm is divided into two sub sequence particularly part that is synchronous tdm and asynchronous tdm so first of all what do you mean by analog uh, multiplexing analog multiplexing is nothing as you know that analog signals can travel from one particularly end to another and over a sub sequence medium so this particularly multiplication or sorry this particular multiplexing technique involves signals which are analog in nature and the analog signals are multiplexed according to their frequency that is fdm or wavelength that is wdm and on the other side the digital multiplexing <coughs> the term digital represents the discrete bits of information as you know that the digital is normally consisting of bits that is zeros and ones hence the available data is in the form of frames or packets so in the case of digital multiplexing the subsequent bit of the group of bits to build or to make the subsequent frame or that particular frame is also known as packets which are discrete from one to another and the next part is all about what is actually fdm that is frequency division multiplexing so the fdm is basically a analog technique so it can be used when the bandwidth of a link is greater than the combined bandwidth of the signal to be transmitted it means as you know that the bandwidth in the medium is much higher than the subsequent devices which is related with that so it can be used when the bandwidth of a link the link which is related with the medium link is greater than the combined bandwidth of signal to be transmitted so the signal generated by each sending device modulate different carrier band uh, frequencies it depends upon the frequencies which are combined into a single composite signal as i said earlier the multiplexing is basically related with the uh, many particularly input lines to combine in a single particularly shared line or shared link or shared particular channels each and every channel are normally divided or to group it Uh, to group into a subsequent particular you can say combined or a composite particular signal so the fdm is a technique in which the available bandwidth of a single transmission medium is sub subdivided into several particular channels so it means the bandwidth which is passed or which is normally relay with the uh, like medium is basically a single transmission medium which is normally related or linked between box and as well as the box and is subdivided into several channels so many particular like input particularly lines or input channels are normally grouped into a single particularly like a, a composite uh, a link and it is for the subdivided and this technique uses various frequencies to combine streams of data and sending them on a communication medium as a single channel so in the case of television jab hum log television dekh rahe hain to television mein kya hota hai ek se zyada channel hum log ke paas available hota hai na hum log usko subscribe karte hain so each and every channel having its own frequency so usme kya hota hai jaise ki hum log sabhi cheez ko ek block ke hisab se aur ek group ke hisab se dekhte hain lekin at a time hum log ek hi particular channel ko simultaneously matlab at a time hum log ek hi channel ko dekh sakte hain so in this case this technique uses various frequencies each and every channel having its own frequencies to combine streams of particular data so it is normally collection of you can say the data streams 
for sending them on a communication medium jab hum log ek se zyada particularly like uh, a data stream ko combine karke ek single medium ke through uh, matlab communicate karte ya send karte so it is basically treated as a single particular signal so for example television transmitters use fdm that is frequency uh, division multiplexing to broadcast certain channels at once so there are different particular channels there as you know that in television so all the subsequent particularly uh, uh, transmitted uh, channels are normally broadcast several channels particularly at once at a time usko hum log send karte hain the bandpass filter is used for separating channels and allow to pass a specific range of frequencies so depends upon the like passing filter or the pass filter which is normally related with the band each and every band uh, particularly like a uh, transmitter having its own band and separate it, it can be used for separating and allows it to pass a specific range of frequencies so ye normally aapka kya karta hai ek particularly frequency ko hi pass karta hai jo ki aapka source se destination mein aata hai so during transmission of the it blocks lower and as well as higher frequencies so normally depend upon the equal frequencies should be passed from the transmitter end so this is the basic example or this is the basic uh, you can say the diagram so it is called the frequency range and it having three subsequence devices in between one black pad is there or sad is there that is basically called the guard band so basically in this uh, uh, like diagram so there are three subsequent devices the device one device two and device three so device one normally allocate the uh, uh, like frequency range one to five and the second device normally provides 7 to 12 and the third is normally 14 to 19 so in this particularly diagram a single transmission medium is subdivided into several frequency channels so uh, normally it can be subdivided it is an entire particular you can say single particular channel or single particular signal which can be subdivided into several uh, particularly like um, uh, several frequency channels and every individual particularly channel having its own frequency range or own frequency rate so device one has a frequency channel ranging from or range from 1 to 5 and as well as normally device two having 7 to 12 and followed by the channel three having 14 to 19 and so on the input signals are transmitted uh, translated into frequency band by using modulation techniques that is you know that but is modulation and modulation and demodulation modulation techniques and they are combined by a multiplexer to form a composite signal so the in this case the multiplexer normally form a particular like more than one particular frequency channels to combine in a single channel that is normally called the combination of channel or it can say composite channel or the composite signal so basically the 6 and as well as 13 this is basically called the guard band so guard bands are used to prevent signal from overlapping so this particularly black patches there in the diagram that is basically called guard bands and every individual guard band while we implement with the devices or the frequency range which is normally avoid or to prevent the overlap overlapping of the subsequent particular frequencies so what is actually guard band it is a narrow frequency band between uh, nearby that is adjoint like a frequency channels it is widely used to avoid interference like uh, from the adjoining channels so it cannot be overlap from one device to another device while traveling the frequency range so basically the fdm having its own particular frequency like a range and each and every device which is related with that it normally provide a specific particularly channel frequency through which we can actually transmit or through which we can communicate so the main aim of the frequency division uh, uh, division multiplexing is to subdivide the available bandwidth the bandwidth which is available with the medium is normally divided into certain slots or you can say certain particularly like parts and into different frequency channel and allocate them to different particular devices so in this case if particularly one device can provide by the subsequent frequency range the other device can like uh, support the other particular frequency range so in this case the main aim of the fdm is subdivided 
the particularly bandwidth which is available with that and into different frequency channels and after that it can allocate them to different devices so each and every device is having its own particularly bandwidth so somehow whenever you watch television in a uh, number of particular television every <coughs> every individual television having its own particular device and television network having its own frequency division using the modulation techniques or technique the input signals are transmitted into frequency band the signal should be transmitted on the base of the frequency band and then come back to form a composite signal let us say here like it can actually more than one frequency particularly bands normally communicate with the single medium and after that it can actually command or to form a particularly composite signal that is a group of signals so each and every television network having a group of particularly composite signals like each and every particular like composite signal having its own particular frequency range the carrier which are used for modulating the signals are known as sub carriers so every individual section in this case the particularly carriers or the subsequent particular carriers which are related with that it normally used for modulating or it can converting the digital to analog signals are known as sub carriers and they are represented at particularly frequency 1 frequency 2 frequency 3 and so on that is up to the frequency and it depends upon how much amount of signal should follow or should transmit over a single network so it is mainly used for radio broadcasting and as well as television network so the main particular you can say the widely implemented fdm that is frequency division multiplexing is utilized in radio broadcasting that is you can say radio signals and followed by the television signals and some of the advantages disadvantages of the fdm so basically fdm is used analog signal as i say earlier like the multiplexing is basically divided into like two parts analog and as well as digital and on the analog part fdm and wdm is there so first of all it is basically completely used or normally used for analog signals and fdm process the uh, process is very simple and easy modulation because it not having any complexity it is a simple particularly way of like converting or you can say the modulation techniques should be implemented with that a large number of signal can be sent through an fdm simultaneously so it may be the simultaneous process like uh, there are subsequently three nodes there like uh, like you can say r1 r3 s1 s2 s3 so s1 s2 s3 normally sequentially or you can say like simultaneously it can process its particularly frequency range it does not require any synchronization between sender and as well as receiver so there is so there is no synchronization process in between the sender and receiver while we are not uh, while we implement with the frequency division multiplex so some of the disadvantages also there this particular technique that is fdm technique that is frequency division multiplex in technique is used only when low speed channels are required so it is widely implemented or widely used with the low speed channels whenever we normally transmit on the air it supports the problem of cross band so it normally uh, like there is certain particularly problems on the cross talk that is normally there is uh, like no overlapping and so on so things are there a large number of modulators are required so each and every particularly channel should be modulated for so that's why it must require number of particularly large number of modulators are required to convert its particularly frequency range and it requires a high bandwidth channel so uh, like it completely depend upon the broadband uh, broad uh, the, like bandwidth channels it requires high bandwidth channel so to which we can like communicate is our data because bandwidth is basically related with the medium which is normally link between transmitter and followed by the receiver end another popular like uh, you can say multiplexing techniques widely implemented in computer network that is basically called dm that is time division and multiplexing it is basically related with the or it can support that digital technique so basically tdm is another like popular method to utilizing the capacity of a physical channel effectively 
so the physical channel which is related with the source to destination and it is widely implemented each user of the particular channel is allocated a small time slot or time interval during which it can or it may transmit a message from source to destination over a network so in this case the time divisional multiplexing is completely based on the time slot or the time interval so in frequency division multiplexing technique all signals operate at the same time which uh, with different frequencies so each and every particular signal having its uh, like own frequency particularly ranges but in the case of time divisional multiplexing so fm having the difference a different particular frequency ranges from device 1 to device 2 and so on but in the case of time divisional multiplexing technique all signals operate the same frequency with different times so basically on the previous part that is fdm having uh, like a different particular frequency range or frequency particularly a bandwidth from one device to another device so if one device normally supports one particular frequency range the other particular device may support other frequency particularly range so in this case of time divisional multiplexing all signals operate the same frequency with the different time over a network so in tdm technique the total time available in the channel is distributed among the different particular users so a time particularly slot is required to communicate the signals over a particular network so every individual particular time or channel sorry every individual particular channel of signal having a specified time slot that's why it is basically called time division multiplexing so the multiplexing or that particular thing in this technique every individual time uh, sorry every individual channel must provide a time slot and with the particularly speculated time slot it can actually cover the transmission or it can follow or it can transmit it particularly like signals or the subsequent messages from one end to another therefore each user is allocated with different time interval known as a time slot basically the time slot is basically called a time given by the subsequent particular channel or the channel which is allocated the subsequent particular time is basically called time slot here and which particularly data to be transmitted by the sender so it having a subsequent particular time slot to which the particular sender can send or can transmit with data over a particular network so a user takes control of the channel for a fixed amount of time so as i said earlier it having a fixed particular amount of time in that particular time period the sender should transmit its data over a particular network in tdm data is not transmitted simultaneously so in that case of fdm the particular data signals are simultaneously processed one after another but in this case that is in the case of tdm the data is not transmitted simultaneously rather than the data is transmitted one by one that is first particularly you can say device one or device two device three there are certain devices there so every individual particular device having its own time slot and after that one particularly like signal pass over a network or over a medium after that the second particularly or the next channel is available on the medium so in this case this particular technique is widely implemented like data is not transmitted simultaneously rather particularly the data is transmitted one by one so it is in a sequential mode so in that case of tdm the signal is transmitted in the form of frames so it is completely based on the frame or the data stream uh, on the data stream each and every particular bits because it depends upon or it is normally the part of the digital multiplexing so the binary bits to build a single frame or you can say the packets so the frames can contain a cycle of time slots every individual frame having its own time slot in which each frame contain one or more time slotted uh, slots dedicated to each other so basically each and every particular frame which is available in this particular multiplexing uh, normally given a particular cycle of time slots so through which the data can be communicated it can be used to multiplex both digital and analog signal but mainly used to multiplex digital signal so it can support or it can use widely like you can say uh, like multiplex like the conversion of particularly digital and as well as analog signal but it is completely dedicated with the 
digital signal so time divisional multiplexing is a part of digital multiplexing so in this case the data which is passed from like a uh, source end or sender to receiver it completely depend upon the digital signal so there are two types of particularly uh, like uh, types of tdm is there that is time divisional multiplexing the first one is called sequence tdm and the second one is called the asynchronous tdm so first of all we should focus about what is sequence sequence tdm like it is the technique in which time slots is predefined or pre assigned to every particular device so every individual device device normally provides like uh, the uh, predefined or the pre assigned time slots in this particularly tdm so in this tdm each device is given time slots irrespective of the fact that device contain the data or not so every individual particular device which is related with this particular multiplexing having a particularly allocated time slot if the particularly like device have or have not uh, like any data or that is any frame so in the device uh, sorry if the device uh, does not have any data so certain particular device having its own data to transmit or certain device not having any data for transmitting so if the particular device does not have any particular data then the slot will remain empty so this particularly like device uh, like if particularly like device d1 having no data for transmitting so the particular device which is pre assigned time slots it can particularly the, then the time slot will remain empty so that particular time slot slot may not be utilized while transmitting over a medium so signals are sent in the form of frames so in this particular sequence sequence particular tdm this basically called the signals are sent particularly in the form of frames or we can say the packets so the time slots are organized in the form of frames so it depends upon the frame like whenever you download certain contents it having its own particular frame of particular contents like in the case of uh, you can say like uh, when you uh, like upload or download or sorry uploading a particularly like video on a whatsapp app so it having a framing of concepts because each and every particularly like piece of uh, like uh, the, the video file having a particularly framing concepts so if a particular device does not have data for a particular time slots if that particularly device which is allocated for allocating for a time slot if particular does not have any data then the empty slot will be transmitted so the empty slot obviously transmitted over the network on the other side a synchronous tdm is basically called it is also known as statistical tdm so it is a technique in which time slots are not fixed as in the case of synchronous tdm so in the case of synchronous tdm it having a limited time slots or you can say there is a particularly time slot which is pre assigned to the subsequent particular device so in this in this case of a synchronous tdm it does not have any like predefined time slots so the time slots are allocated to only those devices which have the data to send so on the previous one that is we can say the synchronous tdm each and every device which is related with a particular network or a particular medium having its own time slots if it uh, normally uh, have uh, having certain data or not but in the case of a synchronous tdm it having the so particularly each and every particularly like device having its own time slot but the particular device which does not contain any data that particularly device may not assign any time slot for that so therefore we can say this tdm or this particularly asynchronous tdm uh, like transmit only data only the data from the active workstations so the device which have uh, which have any data that is called the active workstation are normally provided or normally allocated the time slot so it allocate the time slot to the device dynamically so it is not a statistic uh, you can say statistically or you can say in a particularly the in the case of asynchronous tdm it normally provide the dynamic allocation of the data subsequence or you can say dynamic allocation of the time slots so it accept the incoming data streams like the frames 
and creates the frame that contain any data with no empty slot so it does not contain any particularly empty slot so in this particularly uh, the two types of pdm the first pdm synchronous pdm having each and every particular device having its predefined or pre assigned data slots if the device doesn't does have any data or not so it having a fixed particularly time slot in the case of synchronous pdm but on the other side a synchronous pdm having particularly data slots it is not pre assigned it is not predefined so if the subsequent particular device having any data for sending or for transmitting that particular device can provide the time slot for that so some of the advantages and disadvantages of the pdm so the pdm multiplexing technique systems are more flexible than the frequency division multiplexing so the time division multiplexing circuitry is not complex it is as simple as uh, as simple as related with the fdm so problems of cross work uh, cross talk is not severe it is not overlapping of any particularly light frequency channels so it is very particularly uh, like it is not complex or it is not actually severe in this case full available channel bandwidth can be utilized for each channel so in the previous one each and every particularly like you can say device having its own type of host own particularly channel frequency that if a particularly like a channel having a frequency if the particular frequency is less than its transmitted data so it can be lapsed but in that case of pdm it can utilize the full bandwidth or the full particular channel bandwidth of the subsequent channel so some of the disadvantages is also there synchronization is required in the time division multiplexing because it is normally in the case of synchronization is not required in the fdm but in this case synchronization is required in the time division multiplexing let us say here each and every particular like uh, you can say the channel having its own time slot it is either uh, either it is predefined or, or pre assigned or not so it depends upon the particular synchronization so there is no particularly guard band guard band in this case so it is basically complex to implement it is not simple to implement in that uh, in the in the case of fdm so due to slow narrow band fading all the tdm channel may get wiped out so every individual particularly like uh, channel having its own time slot if the subsequent time slot cannot be properly utilized means the particular channel or the signal which is passed from source to transmitter and to receiver end if that subsequent particular time which is provided by the tdm that is time division multiplexing is not actually covered it is lapsed or it is wiped out so it wait for the another section or another particular time slot for the subsequent state so uh, uh, basically the time division multiplexing over fdm is quite easier so right nowadays we are normally widely implemented with the cell phones or mobile phones